This is a short video on what declination is and how to adjust for declination using a magnetic compass. So if you look at this compass here, it's a base plate co compass and you can see the base plate over there. You can see the direction of travel arrow, which is a triangle there pointing in the direction of travel. There's a boxing arrow, which is the red arrow, and then over here the magnetic needle, which um, points to magnetic north. Of course the red side is the one that points the, in the direction of magnetic north. Um, if you look at the compass as it is now, you'll see that the bezel or dial um, is facing north. Okay. If I rotate the compass like that and I box the arrow, there we go, um, you'll see in that, that it now points um, basically in the direction of magnetic north. But of course true north is not the same as magnetic north. True north is basically at the tip of the earth, at the point where the earth's axis, um, the point about which the earth's, earth rotates, in other words its axis, and uh, true south is at the other end of the earth. Um, what's on top and what's on bottom really is a matter of opinion. Um, the reason why we use true north and not true south for navigation is because um, most of the navigational um, instruments were developed in the northern hemisphere and of course they looked at the north pole um, as the, the sort of cardinal direction to base everything on. Okay so um, because there's a difference between magnetic north and true north you need to make an adjustment for that. Magnetic north of course will, is um, the direction to which a magnetic needle will point uh, based on the Earth's magnetic field. The magnetic north central po center point is actually somewhere in Canada and so depending on where you are on the Earth there will be some deviation called the declination between true north and magnetic north. If you are directly below magnetic north and it's in line with true north then you will be on what's called the agonic line which is basically going to be zero. In other words you won't have to make an adjustment. However, if you are anywhere else on the Earth, magnetic north is either going to deviate to the west or to the east of true north. Okay, so I'll show you how to, uh, very briefly, how to make an adjustment for that. So in any area, we're going to, you know, you'll have your declination. We're going to assume the declination in this area is 20 degrees west. So um, the way you adjust is you take the bezel and you rotate it so that the reading, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, I'm holding a camera with the other hand. Um, there we go, uh, there we go. Okay, so that's 20 degrees. Um, now if I rotate the compass until I've boxed the arrow, magnetic needle will still point towards magnetic north but now the direction of travel arrow will point to true north. I've adjusted for declination of 20 degrees west of um, north. So magnetic north is 20 degrees west of true north and that's why you've added the 20 degrees to make it true north. Okay so now the compass is, is basically adjusted for declination and you can now um, with great accuracy, point directly in the direction of true north.